Very excited about this. But Jimmy Broadbent's lair. Okay, we're entering the lion's den. Billy, how are you doing? Thanks for inviting me over. You did invite me over. What you said? An hour and a half ago, mate. What is that? It. <laughs> All right, short video. He's, he's told me to bugger off. Can't break the Look at that. Hey guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Hello, Bailey. We are in the sim room where my soul is eternally bound for something really fun and really cool. This should be a really exciting video to, to film, actually. And let me tell you that because last year and this year, of course, I raced the Praga R1 and we'll be racing the Praga R1 as well. And one of my teammates last season, though I didn't share a car with them, was a man by the name of Ben Collins. Now, some of you admittedly might not know who Ben Collins is, but you probably know him by his alter ego. During the prime years of Top Gear, before Clarkson thought he'd punch someone, Ben Collins was the Stig. And he's on his way here right now, uh, because basically today I'm going to be trying to teach him how to sim race. It was very odd, I was sitting downstairs just vibing on the, on the sofa and I get a phone call and it's feckin' Ben being like, hey Jimmy, I suck at sim racing, can you teach me? And uh, obviously I can't, don't tell him for fuck's sake. But I said I could, so hopefully we can get some good content. Now I'm not the world's best sim racer by any stretch of the imagination, so the goal today really is just try and get Ben up to speed and try and get him sort of similar-ish to my pace. I've had thousands of hours in the simulator, which you'd think I was good by now, but I'm not. And Ben says that he has just never been able to get the hang of it, so hopefully uh, we can get him up to some good pace today. Yeah, hi. We're here a couple of minutes later, and guess what? We have... Hello! Stiggy! Okay, Ben. Ben, good to see you, mate. Good to be here. I'm here for the day. For I'm here to learn some serious skills. Yeah. You're the man to teach them. Are you feeling uh, feeling confident about <laughs> learning from me? <laughs> well, I'm confident in your ability to that, that you know what you're doing because you're you're a pro sim racer. So, and I'm really not. I'm sort of. I, I mean, obviously, I can do it on the track, and this is what's confusing me because I just struggle to replicate this in the computer realm. Well, so from from what I can hear, Ben's experience is sort of mild in sim racing, but he's one of a lot of uh, drivers who have obviously been driving for a very, very long time in very, 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 very extremely long time <laughs> in the real world, uh, but not so much in sim. And I always say it's more difficult to go from um, real to sim. Sim to real is easier, I think. So it should be interesting to sort of watch how Ben progresses. What would you say is your, like, your, your main problem? The main problem is I keep going off. So um, it's funny because I started with, um, well, I, you know, I, I, don't, I struggle with the word computer games. Like these days with the sim rigs, the technology is so advanced, it's kind of, you shouldn't liken the two things maybe. Yeah. But literally from Microprose on a, on a laptop back in the 90s, when the first sort of semi-sim came out, was it my Grand Prix 2? I think it was called. Or Grand yeah, Prix. yeah. I think I've got Grand Prix 2 up there somewhere. Like. Well, I loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> Boasting some of the most incredible polygon graphics. And then and I would notice you had to try quite radical things to, to make a difference. And so maybe that has taught me some bad lessons. I don't know, because I do still try radical stuff and it ends up going really wrong. Or I just fire it off for absolute, like, as far as I can tell, no reason. So I don't know. You might have your hands full with this situation. Well, luckily we've got all day. Um, Quick question, have you ever used a direct drive wheel? What is a direct drive wheel? That's probably a no then. But basically the max strength of the wheel up there is 24 Newton meters of force. Oh, wow. So uh, you can rip your hand off basically if you get it wrong. So Right, don't, don't get it wrong. <laughs> I'll try not to. But that's great. So you can actually, it's actually physical then, which is, so it's more like, obviously more lifelike. Yeah, so like it, it, it can sort of emulate IndyCar forces, for example, which are, obviously there's power steering in those, so it's right. pretty, uh, pretty yeah. beefy. So. We'll, we'll turn it up at some point. I <laughs> man up for the day. <laughs> Welcome to the, uh, the cabin of dreams. Amazing. Yeah. This is some place. And you've got two, three rigs. Well, I mean, this one is like something out of Knight Rider. Oh got yeah. A yoke. So basically, we have this is my filming rig where I do all the um, stuff at YouTube because I've always used one monitor because it's really easy to film on that. This is like the the training rig that I used for, for Praga last year and we'll use for this year as well. Cool. Which is much more centered around just me using it. There's not really any sort of filming capacity at all. And this is planes. Okay, so you yeah. find, ah, there we go. So there's a throttle on the side here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you really have learned to drive or race in the sim and then you've taken that into the real world with Praga obviously but there's that really you've learned to drive on this rig 
everything that I've put into a real life race car has come from this. Every technique has come from this. So how much do you think is can, can you convert from this? And what, what's the missing element? Do you think? Well, how, you know, that what's the transition like going from sim to real life? I think the thing that you're going to struggle with today is the lack of g-force. So like, that's the thing you don't get, of course, the lack of that sort of that feeling for your ass when you're driving. Yeah. But I think that the, the main element you sort of take over is just like the rhythm of driving. You know, it's sort of very rhythmical once you get into it and um, how to brake properly. It's a big thing in prototypes, yeah. you know, and how to um, how to get the car into the corner properly. These, these are all things you sort of learn. It's like a extended theory test. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. You're speaking my language, but when I have tried this, I have failed miserably. <laughs> and um, it, it, it's just embarrassing. Now, I'm not fast enough. And I and I keep going off the I'm track. I'm up for a laugh today, so I'm good with oh, that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. I think we'll give you give you the old uh, the old boot camp. You'll be good. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah. I mean, how long have you got? Well, hour and a half less than I. All right. Well, we're fast. So come on, <laughs> let's let's do this. We're talking about the penguin. What what is going on here with this penguin? This is Maurice. Um, I originally uh, bought him for my girlfriend. He's like big cuddly thing because apparently. Girls like big other things, yeah. Um, so do I, to be fair, but um, it's sort of become like a bit of a mascot now for like endurance races. Maurice, shall I step into there? You can try, it's, yeah. got, my, it's got my legs on at the moment, so let's see if you can get it. Of course, similar to a real car, you can stand on the seat, don't worry about it. You can, yeah, okay, yeah. fine. Just don't try, don't really wait on the wheel. If you, if you no, don't no, it. All right, cool. Okay, is he gonna fit in the seat though? I think I'm gonna fit in. I'm saying, Christmas was ages ago, that's not bad. Yeah? Yeah, it's comfortable. It's tight in the, in the carbon chair, but very good fit. I want an auto mobility start. Treat everything normally, yes? Clutch, first gear, and all that good stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. All right, clutch down. Cool, the biting point's low, isn't it? Um, there is no hit. So there's no speed limit. Okay, that's good to know. Exit is clear. I'm surprised you got past T1 after. Oh, that's just rude. <laughs> that is just rude. How dare you bring that It's up. quite heavy, the wheel, isn't it? It's in a good way, but it's as in it's lifelike, and from the Logitech, it's a fair bit heavier. Oh, that's right, we ended up in 27s, didn't we? 27, 27. Yeah. So that's 27, 28, so if you can do better than Okay. So I'm having a problem with the brakes. Well, I'm not stopping quickly enough. Yes. In real life, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I locked up. Jeez. Okay, so it's got quite a lot of bites. More than I, th more than I'm used to, I think, in the real car. All right, I'm getting into it a bit more now. I think it feels like the tyres are hot. It's quite a lot of understeer through. Um, that corner, see what coppice is like, and try and tug it through this apex. I'm redlining the hell out of it as well. Okay, braking point was literally on that mark there. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. I see I spun. What the hell? <laughs> I did. It, it just felt like I failed the exam already. All right, I, I'm gonna try and concentrate now, Jimmy. I'm not a big talker on the radio, if I'm honest. So, Ben's actually doing all right. Whoa! Well, the hell. as I said that, I just, I just saw, I just saw suspended that there. That there is a suspension piece. Nice. <laughs> that, that car ain't gonna go any further. And I've stalled the engine. Absolutely ruined it. Sad. Get a replay of that. Um, well, here's you down with the hairpin. Oh, thanks. Oh, look, but look how low the wing is. I mean, this is clearly a downforce issue. I'm going really fast though. Are you sp this, is that, this is real speed. <laughs> this, this. All right. Am I on cold tyres again now? Yeah, cold tyres. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, is this because I'm being punished? You're making me warm them up again. Well, I thought you were a real racer. <sighs> right now, your fast lap is a 43.9. That's weak. It's a nice you know, 15 seconds off what we'd like to see, really. Okay. Um, but to, to your credit, you've not actually completed a good lap yet. So. I haven't done a lap yet. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> so I think I reckon the potential's there. I reckon you. I reckon you can give There's it that. There's potential. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Yellow flag. Watch out, yellow flag is telling me. It's like, I, I am the yellow flag. But the bit that's really spooking me is the applying the power. Yeah. And when it breaks traction. <laughs> just cocked up the braking again. I'm actually getting somewhat concerned here because I think Ben's got a good lap on him, so I'm uh, hoping that I can go quicker, if not career over again. Whoa, holy moly, that is light at the rear. Oh, you son of a... Um, the tail is breaking free mid-corner in a way that I'm not used to. So um, I would put more rear wing on and I would drop the rear of the car. On the inside? Okay. I think it feels better. I don't, I don't feel any more understeer, but the tail feels like it is more locked down. Yeah, even under braking. Oh, you are for... Caution. <sighs> Honestly, you, you are doing a ton better than what you can. Really? Yeah. What, as I spin backwards? Yeah, but I mean, like, the thing is, like, the pace is there, and, like, the knowledge of it is never too expensive. I feel like if you gave this, like, a few hours, you could be up to pace with any car in the world. Me That's a really like big comma. Hours. You said hours and not days, which I thought was great. I think if we sat you down here, said right, okay, nine to five, this is your job. Get rid of this yep. for today. And I think you'd, you'd be there. I think you'd be there. So maybe the problem is impatience. I mean, because I don't have that. Like you said, the seat of the pants thing is what normally guides me, and that isn't helping me yeah. with adapting. But I think it's a, it's a mental game. This isn't it. You are still learning a new skill in sim racing. It's it's, it's learning to do all that stuff minus like quite a big. Factor. It's like imagine learning to drive without hearing the car, that'd be difficult as well. Yep. It's that sort of thing. So I think that as soon as you start sort of learning to live without it, which you do eventually, then yeah. it, it just becomes driving. All right, I'm going to take this to heart and the other guidance you've given me. I'm going to try and structure a lap here and try and get close to my own real life time. Do you think I can, if I really concentrate now, I can? Pull this off. I, I reckon you've got a, a mid 28 in you. A mid 28. So uh, maybe even faster if you can get the first section hooked up. So. All right, let's go for this then. Oh, nearly. Is that him? Oh yeah, look. What's it saying? It's saying W. What do you think that stands for? What we're we saying, we want to get past, the we've got to get below 29. I, re I reckon you probably I really like the thing is though. You've just moved the goalpost. You said 28. Let's try it. Let's try a bit of bias. I'll do that. Setup I'm happy with. I feel it, I feel more confident with the rear. It's doing, it's what it's, I feel it's behaving itself. All right, the next lap is the one. I find the high pins quite difficult.
Here we go, Jimmy. I lost time though. 28-3. Ah, you. Of course, of course, I spun. Of course, I did. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, we've been here quite a while now. I'm conscious of it, of, you know, daylight. I think that's reasonable. 28-3. I don't. I don't think 27 is possible, but um, I think it needs. I think it needs like quite a lot of investment of time and resources yeah, yeah. to get to that place. It's quite revealing this uh, exercise, actually. The stuff you didn't really know about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the sort of highs and lows. I am. I've got a little bit of a shake on. All right. Well. What do you think then? What I mean, do I get some sort of rating? Have I passed the Jimmy test? Uh, you know what? I am genuinely quite impressed. I, I was the way you described yourself. I thought you'd be well. You have spun off quite a bit, but but every corner is going to be just an absolute nightmare. You've done a time that I think is super respectable. So I'll give you a good you know, eight and a half, nine out of ten there. I well, think for performance today. I'm so made up with that. I think you could uh, definitely be a good sim racer if you put time in. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you for the tuition. I brought a little something for you, which I thought you might like to add to the collection, or I don't know, you can put it on eBay. Um, this is from my original Stig helmet. Oh, wow. And obviously, it was no use because you could see through it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just been parked, sort of hanging, you know, it was going to gather dust you know, in my closet there. So I just thought I'd give this to you and sign it off for. You know, say thanks for the tuition, basically. Oh, thank you. Jimmy, thank you very much. Thank um, you, man. Absolute pleasure. pleasure, and I'll see you shortly in the Praga. No, definitely, man. It'll be good. Legend. There we go. Just a thing of beauty. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.